Hi, I'm Sarah from sarahkbrandiscontent.com and this video is my attempt to give you a super simple yes or no scenario for helping you to decide if you want to use Facebook ads or not in your small business. Now, most of my clients are in the helping world, so they're either like life coaches, therapists of some kind, generally people who work one-to-one -one with people, um, and generally it's, you know, not a cheap thing that they're offering. It's it's a bit of an investment that the client has to make to work with you. So if you are like that as well in your business, then hopefully this will be super relevant for you. And just know that this is where I'm coming from when I'm posing this yes, no rule of thumb to you. Uh, I'm basing this on the fact that for most of my clients, um, Here's the punchline. No, Facebook ads are not relevant for most of my clients. Here's why, and here's the yes or no thing. Um, so there's one question for you to ask yourself when you're trying to decide, should I invest in Facebook ads for my business? And that one question, this is simplified, but that one question is, does my client know that they want me? Um, and that should define quite simply the route that your advertising or marketing will take. So if your client knows that they want you, then are they going to be looking for you in their Facebook feed as they scroll through in amongst the adverts for Fabletics and whatever else is on offer that day? Probably not. Um, if a client is serious, if they seriously want coaching or whatever therapy that you offer, they're going to go seek you out and they're going to look on Google. That's where everyone goes to answer any question. So they will go type in something like Life Coach London, Life Coach Birmingham, wherever they are in the country or in the world. Um, so if you are going to invest in ads anywhere, I would say invest in Google search ads rather than social media ads because it's more relevant. It's where the serious people will be looking. Um, you know, if you're charging hundred pounds plus for a session, people need to be serious to do it. So serious people will actually look for you. That's why I think that no, Facebook ads are not for you. But if you do want to spend money on advertising, do consider Google ads instead. For UK based life coaches, um, you might also want to have a look at the life coach directory. That's a really good place to advertise yourself as well as a registered life coach in the UK, because again, it's about where your serious clients are looking for you. So if somebody is seriously looking for a life coach, they might not know that the life coach directory exists, but when they go, they go search for it in Google, life coach directory comes up. It's been there for years. It's a big site, a big directory. It's got a lot of good SEO, which means they come up very highly in organic search. And that's not something that the individual life coach's website is going to have. So, and that's quite normal. There's nothing to worry about. Your own coaching business website is not likely to come up on the first page of Google unless you've put a lot of money into having an expert sort that for you. But life coach directories quite often does come up on the first page. So it's worth considering should you invest a little bit in membership and go and put yourself there. Just to give you the other the other side of the yes no question does your client know that they're looking for you if they don't know if you're offering a therapy that perhaps people haven't heard of and it's something new or just a different product or service entirely if it's not too high investment so if it's let's say it's less than 100 pounds that's a really rough rule of thumb by the way um but if they don't know that they need you yet then they're not going to be looking for you so think about how a social media specifically a Facebook ad works, it targets people and it pops up in their newsfeed while they're scrolling. The aim of that Facebook ad is to be so tempting that you, you know, it encourages the reader to go, oh, maybe I do want that. So if you're not um, my typical client, like a life coach, but if you do have something new that people don't know about yet, then yes, maybe Facebook ads are worth it for you. But do make sure that you get some guidance from somebody who is an expert, and that's not me by the way. Go find yourself a legit Facebook ads expert to help you because it's quite complicated. Facebook ads many years back were simpler, but as time has gone on they've become more complicated. So uh, I'm just saying this so you know, don't chuck a load of money at an ad if you don't know what you're doing because you will lose your money. So yeah, seek out help. Um, I mean, Google owns YouTube, 
So YouTube is like the world's biggest video search engine now. Why not type into the YouTube bar Facebook ads help and see see what comes up, see if you can learn something. So there it is. It's a fairly general rule of thumb and of course won't apply to everybody, but I hope as a starting point it gives you something to think about. If you found that useful, please do hit that subscribe button and get more of my videos about content marketing, writing and the bigger picture of small business for life coaches. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.